Hey guys, welcome to Crazy Days. Today, I wanted to show you my stash that I got. These things, most of them are antiques and are something that I just thought I would like to have in the candy corn cabin. So Danny and I took off last night and went over to a friend's house that's having a yard sale that was getting rid of a lot of things. And these are some of the purchases. Um, first off, you know what this is. Let me show it to you kind of sort of what it looks like. The handle comes up. Inside, this little scoop, a little spout here. And you can get it back in there. Like that. And we're thinking oranges, uh, something like that you put in here and mash and pour the juice out this side. The lady that had it was not 100% sure, but it has little prongs so that you can sit it on the table and mash down. Thought it was pretty cool, so had to have it. This may stay here, not the cabin, but hey, item number one. If you know what it is, leave me a comment and tell me because I'm not 100% sure. We're just guessing at this point for lemons and lima, um, oranges, grapefruits, that sort of thing. That's what we think it is, the juicer for that. Now this, I pretty much know this is a lemon juicer. Okay, I've got glass ones, but this one I can't tear up maybe. So we're gonna use this, that's a lemon juicer. I don't know that it's that old, but it is aluminum. Uh, that's the one thing that I'm, I'm leery of, but it's put out by Foley, F-O-L-E-Y. And at least I'm going to be doing my lemons and it's going through and I don't, you know, all one piece, easy peasy. That's something that will stay here at the house, not really cabin wise. Danny and I already have a set of these and there was three of these bowls. Just, they're not antique. I didn't, everything I got wasn't antique. Um, I just was adding to my collection so that when people are here, I have more bowls that I can use. First thing that caught my eye when I came across, she had several books out there. And I know these are a little tattered and a little worn, but at the cabin, there ain't nobody going to be messing with them. The cat in the hat, green eggs and ham. Probably two of my most favorite books ever just because I remember them from a kid. And uh, they are a little worn, but they're still readable. And I wanted them for that purpose. Isn't that pretty awesome? Another thing that I wanted in the cabin, just because when I saw it, I was, I was like, oh, that's so perfect. Nobody's gonna be playing with this, but look. Do you see this? Look at the detail. It's even got a rod up here for the steering wheel, that sort of thing. And this thing's heavy, I'm gonna tell you. This little tractor is awesome. Uh, not 100% sure if it's been repainted since the original or whatever, or somebody bought a kit and put it together. Kind of looks like a, maybe somebody did, but it's made out of a heavy piece of metal, whatever it is, and it's pretty awesome. And I wanted it just to sit in the cabin no kids are allowed to play with it. I'm kind of mean that way sometimes, but this was something when I saw it. It's a pipe collection. You see? Now, no, I don't smoke, and Danny doesn't smoke, but I have this fascination with things from the back past. And pipe smoking was something my grandfather did. And each one of these are different and unique. And they look like they were hand, the inside of them was hand carved out with some kind of little tool. And so the little stand, I need two more. I've got to get two more to go in here, but that's okay. A cute little stand, the pipe, I'll clean them up and they're going to sit on my um, mantle just as a centerpiece because this took my fancy. 
I like this little blue um, bottle. Not sure what was in it, but I liked it, so we got the blue bottle. This was Danny's pick. Total see-through Aladdin lamp with the little handle here, glass. Use your kerosene here. This was something that he picked, he wanted. This was another little thing that he thought. It's a mini crock. Still has the lid and a little stick with it. And he said he could make a bigger plunger than this if he needed to, but if you had a, a little bit wider around, he can make that for the plunger in this. Isn't that pretty awesome? Almost perfect for just a small amount of butter, just making something and just sitting here messing with it with a bigger plunger. So he's going to fix that and I thought that was pretty cool. Now I chose this bell. I just like it. It's going over to the cabin. Danny chose variety of bales. And his goal is to clean them up, repaint, and add them to our goats. He wants the goats to have a bale so we can find them when they're in the woods. I'm thinking these are going to get lost in the woods probably, but maybe not. And each one of them has their own distinctive sound if you notice. This, I just thought this was pretty cool. You don't see one this wide, and it can be hung up to use like that. Isn't that awesome? I love that ladle. That was awesome. Another one of Danny's picks, or maybe it was mine, and Danny's going to try and fix it. It has a crack here on it, but this is a butter mold, and he's going to see if he can squeeze that together and put it back together, but it, for the most part, you put this down on your butter, and it leaves that imprint on, the, on it, and I think that's pretty cool. Solid wood. Pretty awesome little design there. And a bowl. Danny makes bowls. I don't have one of his bowls. But I saw this, and this is a well-used bowl. You can tell it's been used a lot. And uh, it's just a dough bowl. I plan on hanging it. It already has a hole because somebody over the years may have had it hung somewhere. I plan on hanging it up or displaying it some way in the kitchen in the cabin. So guys, that's my cabin haul, antiques for now. I don't intend to just really junk it up, but I do want some things in there so that I can say some nostalgia. And like I said, with Danny, this was for him. The pipes were for my grandfather because I remember him smoking and I kind of wanted that. The books for me. Just because. And the dough bowl and this butter churn and stuff, that's stuff for the kitchen. Just because. That, sometimes we just don't have to have a reason to be happy. <laughs> so guys, thank you for joining me on my antique haul for the candy corn cabin. And we'll talk to you guys later from Crazy Days.